making yourself as comfortable as possible in the chair nobody needing anything this is your time a peaceful relaxing time allowing your feet to be well grounded give yourself a, a little wriggle to make sure that you're comfortable and relaxed as we go on a journey I'd like you to imagine you've just been round a, a stately home you're just coming now to the main doors Notice how large they are, how solid. There's bright lights coming from outside, giving a shadow on that whole floor. And as you step out now into the late summer afternoon, Notice the steps, those stone steps, the columns either side, that stately home. As you go down those steps, in front of you is an ornamental garden with various pathways, various small hedges, new hedges. There's various herbs. Maybe you can notice the fragrances as you pass by. Maybe the lavender or the mint, the sage. Just smelling those fragrances on the air now. As you get to the end of that ornamental garden, it stretches out into parkland. Notice now. The roe deer. Notice their markings. See them just grazing now, a distance away. Ahead of you, a few hundred, hundred. Ahead of you, maybe three, four hundred yards away. Notice a, a copper beech hedge. You're drawn to it, and as you get closer, wondering what's the other side of that copper beech hedge. Getting closer and closer still now. Can you see the entrance to a garden? A gap in the hedge. Can you see that gap in the hedge? Going through and into now an old orchard. Notice the grass. Hasn't been cut for some time. Notice those blades of grass and there's dew on those blades of grass. See them glistening back at you in that sunshine. The apple trees are well laden down now with fruit. See the colours, the greens, the reds, the oranges and pinks. Some of the leaves are already starting to change. 
And as you walk along, maybe you can see those pear trees going higher than the apple trees, again laden down with fruit. Notice the shapes of the pear. The colours, the brown and the green of the pear, the yellow also. The roughness compared to the apple. Next to them, the damson. Notice the, the dark purple purpley red of the damson. And if you wish, you could take one of the fruits, pick one off the, the tree, maybe an apple, maybe a pear or a damson. Place it in your hand and feel the weight of it, the coolness of that fruit, bringing it up to your nose. Can you smell the freshness of that fruit? Maybe biting into it and notice the juices now within the mouth, the sweetness. As you chew it and enjoy it. Just walking along now, through the trees, and can you see that old shed, a bit dilapidated, the roof needs repair, the trees. The windows haven't been cleaned for some time. The door is open and as you get closer, noticing that nobody's around, peering in. Can you smell the old tobacco smoke? Maybe some Bruno or another one springs to mind. There's an old, comfortable chair. The stuffing's coming out. Along the wall of the shed. Notice in line all the garden tools. The rake, the hoe, the spade, the fork. The trowel. Canes are, are tied up, terracotta pots uh, have been washed and placed in size, in sizes. Coming out now into that sunlight and I wonder if you can see in the distance uh, a swinging chair hammer, hammock, a swinging chair hammock. Notice the stripes on top of the canopy. As you sit in that chair swinging hammock, rocking from side to side, just relaxing in that late summer day. Breathing in the sweetness of the fruit. Maybe you can see one of those leaves coming off the apple tree. One of those yellow leaves just floating down now towards the ground. Just sit there for a few more moments and then in your own time, when you're ready, 
to starting to open your eyes.